When I think of watching extreme sports growing up, the likes of Sean White, Matt Hoffman, and Tony Hawk all fondly come to mind. Riders Republic captured snowboarding and bikes very well back in 2021, and I sunk a ton of hours into the extreme sports gym. However, the emission of skateboarding felt like catching a stick in your wheel at the finish line. Thankfully, the wait and void is finally over as the iconic sport of skateboarding tray flips its way into the riders scene. Riders Republic Skateboarding does a ton of things right, with a few things I wish they did differently. Let's dive in and find out why now might be the best time for you to kickflip your way into Riders Republic. A skateboarding game can't feel good if the skate spots don't lend you creativity, freedom, and flow. The massive skate area donned the deck, feels like the ultimate playground for both street and vert skating. I love the variety provided with curbs, boxes, quarter pipes, half pipes, giant stair sets, straight rails, curved rails, and plenty of transition areas that give you everything you need to throw down the tricks that you fell in love with as a kid. Each time I dropped in, I found myself pausing and looking around to find a line because there's so many ways to tackle each spot. While you need a great place to skate, the tricks under your feet are what bring these concrete jungles to life. Riders Republic doesn't disappoint with a massive trick list for you to showcase your style on the rails and ramps. With the game involving both street and vert tricks, I was worried that there was potential for iconic tricks to be left on the table. This is not the case as you can go from a tray flip blunt slide to a 720 Benihana with ease. The ability to flow seamlessly from street to vert felt very reminiscent of the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, which is always a very welcome feeling. Even with a familiar feel, Riders Republic feels like it still has its own identity within the arcade skateboarding world because of how utterly ridiculous you can get with the tricks. There's nothing quite like comboing some flip tricks and grinds to finish that dismount off with a misty flip. Is it realistic? Nope. Do I love every second of it? Yup. I know throwing ridiculous tricks and insane combos are also reminiscent of Tony Hawk, but the arcade feeling is cranked to a thousand when stepping on the grip tape in Riders Republic. There's no balance meters for manuals and grinds, the vert ramp landings are very forgiving, and the general sense of speed is very high. It's all about going big or never showing up at all. They lean into the over-the-top arcade feeling, and I absolutely adore it. You can adjust some of the difficulty sliders to make landing tricks a little harder to do, but I say leave them on and let those 1260 Christ airs fly through the sky. Riders Republic is known for having a boatload of events for each respective sport, ranging from races to trick scoring runs. The skateboarding side of events feel pretty straightforward with the events pertaining to either street or vert skating. You're not exactly forced to throw only tricks pertaining to the style of the event, but the park layouts for each respective event definitely encourage that event's trick type. As you progress through these events, you do earn your way onto the high profile showcases with the X Games and Vans big events. These are fun and exciting because they provide the biggest features and iconic park layouts from the X Games years of past. While the events themselves are great, where it falls a little short is the lack of quantity. The other disciplines like bike race, bike tricks, snow tricks, snow race, and air all have 20 plus events to choose from. However, skateboarding only has 14. While I do enjoy the events available, I found myself wanting more because they were so fun to do. I personally wouldn't even care if they added more events within similar areas of the park, but provided different star challenges for them. The other small miss for me was not having any events that involved downhill skating. With Riders Republic having a focus on both tricks and racing, it would have been so cool to feel like we were concrete surfing down the mountain roads on a longboard. It's certainly a small miss and more of a personal wish, but it would have been amazing to see within the game. While there's certainly a ton to enjoy with skateboarding in Riders Republic, the button mapping for the tricks can derail the flow of skating from time to time. The reason the flow gets a little messy is due to the fact that right bumper dismounts you from your board. With the left bumper initiating the grabs, I had a hard time telling my brain to not associate the right bumper with my right hand for other grab tricks. So on rare occasions, I would be mid-flight on a trick and accidentally dismount from my board and come crashing to the ground. Dismounting from my board doesn't happen too often, 
but when it did, it felt like it derailed my flow and was hard to get back into it. The other button mapping that was tough to correct at times was executing nolly tricks without sending your skater into a front flipping nosedive. The right stick controls the body rotation while also being responsible for popping ollies and nollies for your board. One of my favorite tricks to throw is a nollie backside kickflip onto a rail, but because of the mapping, it would usually result in me curb stomping myself into that grind. It's a small gripe in the grand scheme of everything you can do, but there's just something beautiful about cab 360s and it's a shame that they can't be executed with more ease. This leads to the burning question. Is it worth picking up Riders Republic in 2023? My answer is a confident yes. While the button mapping can be a little confusing at times, it's something that quickly slips to the back of your mind because of how good it feels to tear it up on a skateboard in Riders Republic. The skate park feels like every skater's dream with any and all skate features you can think of, the tricks feel crisp and so fun to throw down, and the freedom of creativity is front and center. While I wish there were a few more events for skateboarding, the addition of the most iconic street sport makes Riders Republic one of the best games available for action sports lovers everywhere. Even though we hit the two year mark for the game, it feels like Riders is in the best place it's ever been. The skateboard expansion has a few sketchy landings, but nails the tricks where it matters most with an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching this review of Riders Republic Skateboarding. Drop a comment and let me know what you think of the game, and while you're there, a like on the video goes a long way. There's a ton of reviews in the pipeline, so if you want to stay up on those, go ahead and tap that subscribe button as well. This is Josh Thompson with Joystick Gamer. Thank you for watching, and stay shredding out there.